Hello, welcome to this training session about integrating with Geometrics using LTI. I will be using Canvas LMS for the demonstrations in this training, but LTI is a specification that's implemented by many LMS platforms, such as Canvas, Moodle, Blackboard, and Schoology that I personally have used, and many others. You can integrate Geometrics into your LMS in three main ways. First and simplest is single sign-on, which can be used to create a link in your LMS for your students to click that'll send them to the Geometric student portal already logged into an account tied to their account on your LMS. Second is assignment links that can be used to launch a test in the Geometrics platform. When the student completes the test, a score is sent back to your LMS for gradebook integration, and the student is redirected back to your LMS instead of staying on the Geometric student portal. Third is common cartridge, which can be used to bring the entire layout of any of the supported Geometrics courses into your LMS with a link to each individual resource. All three methods require an LTI consumer key and secret, so we'll start with that. Log into your Geometrics Management account at manage.geometrics.net. From there, find the dashboard tile for LTI. This Getting Started link is to a document that covers the general use case of LTI. In that document, there are links to specific documentation we've made for Canvas, Schoology, and Blackboard, with more coming soon. As more documentation is added, we'll update these links, so the LTI tile is a good place to find up-to-date documentation. To get started, click this resource key lookup. This will bring you to the LTI resource page, which will be used for all three integration types we'll talk about today. First, you'll need a key and secret. Click the request key and secret button and you'll see your key displayed and your secret will be emailed to the email address on your account. A quick note about key and secret, these are tied to your testing center account and are used to associate students to the correct testing center for reporting purposes as well as licensing. If you're an administrator of more than one testing center, you'll need to make sure your integration solution is using the correct key and secret to get the students associated with the correct testing center. For the single sign-on integration, this is all we'll need. We'll be back to this page later though, so I'll leave it open and go to my LMS in a new tab. I'll be showing you Canvas in this training, but all LMS platforms that support LTI should have the same functionality somewhere. For Canvas, I'll open up my demo course and click settings, then go to apps, then view app configurations. And to add a new app, I click this add app button to show that this shows the configuration dialog. In other LMS platforms, it may be called external tool instead of external app or something along those lines. Each LMS decides how to implement the LTI specification, but ultimately they're all going to be doing the same thing somehow. For single sign-on, you simply give the app a name. I'm going to go with Geometric Student Single Sign-On, and then your consumer key and secret. The launch URL is https colon slash slash www.geometrics.net slash LTI. Domain is just the URL of the student portal, which is www.geometrics.net. Privacy can be a bit different from platform to platform, but we suggest the equivalent of email only. This makes it so Canvas sends along the email address that is tied to the Canvas user, and Geometrics uses that as the username. This will make it so any reporting you want to do on the management panel will have an, the email address matched between Canvas and Geometrics. If you choose anonymous, everything will technically work fine from the student side, but the teacher side will show all of your students with just a random string of numbers and letters that can't be mapped back to your Canvas gradebook. So we don't recommend that. Everything else I'll leave blank and click submit. Now I can see the app in my list and I can go add it to my course or anywhere else in the platform that lets you add those links. I've got it here in my sample module that Canvas started me with and if we click it, you can see it loaded the Geometric Student Portal with me logged into my account already. I've used this demo account before, so it already has content available, but for an SSO link like the one we configured, the student will now add their access code to get the content that they should have. From here, the single sign-on implementation is done, and the student can use the Geometrics platform like normal. But we could use the custom parameters of the external tool configuration we just set up to add some more functionality. Let's log out of Geometrics and close this tab. And go back to Canvas. Let's go back to Settings, then Apps, View App Configurations, and I'm going to configure an app that I've already made.
The only difference is the custom fields. I've added two custom fields here, access code and GMX resource key. Access code is an access code that you made on the management panel. This is optional, but adding it into the configuration will automatically redeem the access code to the student account when the link is clicked. This makes it so there's one less thing for the student to do before they get access to their content. Generally, simplifying things for a student like that is a good thing, but sometimes it makes configurations more complicated, such as if you've got multiple classrooms using the same Canvas course, but different access codes. We made that parameter optional, so you can decide what's best for your case. GMX resource key is also optional, and including one changes the functionality of the link quite a bit. It changes it from a single sign-on launch, like we showed before, into an assignment launch. This app will now log the student in, and instead of letting the student choose which content they want to access, it will launch directly into the resource that matches this key. You can find those keys back on the management panel where I got my key in secret. There's two tabs here, tests and courses. This is a complete list of all the Gmetrics content that you have access to based on the orders in your inventory. My testing center has all the content we offer, so it's a long list here. But here you can see Autodesk Certified Professional 3DS Max, for example. These are the test keys that we offer for that. And let's say CompTIA A+, here are the tests, the resource keys for those tests. You can just grab your key from the test that you want as an assignment and put it in the custom parameters field in your LMS. Save that. Back to my sample course, I can click that resource. And you can see it went right into Geometrics with the test already started. I'm here on question one. I can take the test and when I'm finished, I can get my results. Then when I leave this page, it'll send me back to my course in Canvas instead of to the Geometrics homepage. If that test was launched as an assignment in your LMS, then the Geometric system will send back a gradebook item with the student's score. In Canvas, that's here on the left. And it looks like in my gradebook, I have a score of 34, which means at some point in the past, I did better than the zero I just did. That's intentional. We always send back the student's highest score on a given test, not their most recent. That covers assignments and gradebook integration. Next, I'll cover courses using Common Cartridge, but I'll give the presenter a moment here to pause and take questions about single sign-on and assignments first. I'll pull up the app configuration so that it can be up during the pause. All right, let's head back to the management panel and talk about Common Cartridge. On the same page, click on the Courses tab. And let's click Adobe Certified Professional as an example. Courses, you see, have two columns here. One is the resource key that can be used the same as the test resource key. If you add it to a tool configuration, the link from the course in your LMS will link directly to the course in the Geometrics platform. This may be what you want, but because courses have many items in them, launching a course this way does not trigger any gradebook integration. It's simply a way to link to the Geometrics content from your LMS. Courses that support Common Cartridge are the ones that have a download button on this page. If I click one, say After Effects 2021, we have an option here to include an access code in the cartridge. This will automatically add the access code to the student account when they access the content. This is both a pro and a con. It makes it so the student can skip this step, and anytime we can make a student take less step, it's a good thing. But this also makes the cartridge link to your testing center by that access code. If you do that, be sure not to distribute the cartridge file outside your organization. Also, that means you need to either renew your access code each year for the course to keep working or reconfigure the course each year. Make sure you weigh those pros and cons before putting an access code. I personally suggest it, but I'm going to skip it for this demo. Click the download button and the site will download an IMSCC file. That's the cartridge we've been talking about. You'll import that cartridge into your LMS. Let's go back to Canvas. I'm going to go to my homepage and import this cartridge as a new course. You can add it to an existing course if you like. The process is the same. I'm going to start a new course. 
and give it a name. Let's call it After Effects 2021. On the right here, there is an Import Course Content button. In the drop-down, select Common Cartridge 1.x. To be specific, our cartridges are version 1.3, which we find is the most compatible version across the various LMS platforms we've tested. Click Choose a File, and, find, and browse to the file you downloaded earlier. Question Bank is not relevant for the cartridges we generate, but you can choose here to import all content or choose which content you want to bring in. I'm going to import all of it. And we'll click Import. This step takes a moment sometimes. If you chose Select Specific Content, it will let you do that after this processing step finishes. Once it's complete, you'll see one issue, missing security parameters. That's the key and secret from earlier, and we'll fix that in a moment. For now, go home, and we'll see that all the content from the Learn Key course that has been imported into my new course in Canvas. From here, you can customize your course any way you'd like, maybe by adding your own content or reorganizing the imported content into a different order or structure, or even removing specific pieces of the course you'd rather not have your students use. This is the same course and resources that the student would see from the Gmetrics platform, but now you can customize it. Before any of these links work though, we need to resolve those missing security parameters from earlier. You can do that in Settings, Apps, App Configurations, and then you can see the app that was created by the Common Cartridge import here. Click Edit, and only edit your consumer key and secret that Canvas has so kindly marked as fake. Submit those changes, and then go back to home. Now I can launch directly into a specific course resource, such as the glossary. or Domain 1 Video Training. You can see this is the same course player as what you would get within the Gmetrics platform, but instead of using the course layout navigation that Gmetrics has on the left side, we're now using the navigation provided by the LMS. For Canvas, that's our previous, next, the breadcrumbs at the top, or we can just go back to home. Thank you for joining us. I want to invite you to connect with us through the Geometrics Facebook and LinkedIn pages. Also, like and subscribe to the Geometrics official YouTube page to receive instant alerts of new content postings, review previous webinars, and our FAQ channel, where we will be posting videos addressing the most frequently asked questions. If you have a question that you'd like us to answer, please make sure you include that in your survey. Thank you.